All right, hey. uh, Jamie, we're going to start the show with something a little different today. I'm going to give you a choice of what you want to talk about. Ladies' choice. Oh, so nice. Well, you're leaving us. I figured why not cater more to... We need to, like, reframe the leaving us thing. I mean, t technically, yes, but I'm mm. not, like, technically, leaving. Technically, yes. All around, yes. My, yeah. my, fa my father texts me. He goes, wow, Jamie's really leaving you? I said, yeah. Fuck yeah, my mom Fuck said, you, Dad. oh, Jamie is going. Why Fuck is you, she mom. leaving? Why wow. does anyone have to have me? This is really bad. You gotta face I'm the actually, truth. you guys, Austin's in rough shape right now. Yeah. Uh, all right, so you have a choice. What do okay. you want to start with? We have a clip. I watched The Notebook. I have some thoughts on that. Right. We can. <laughs> what? <laughs> I watched The Notebook for the first time. I never yeah. saw it. Man. Uh, I want to rank the best shows of all time from TGIF. You remember TGIF? Like yeah. Um, believe it or not, I actually have some sexual questions for you. Shocking. Yeah. We both do. And uh, oh. I'll make mine up on the spot. Yeah, okay, yeah, figured. <laughs> and that's it. So we... I would like to start with a clip. Okay. Do I need to put on my uh, headphones? This is, this is our buddy. I think buddy. you're going to like this. This is our buddy, Cas. So, Casim, you want to set this it up? This is you? <clears throat> um, Rob brought this up on a prior pod um, about how I like to dress up when I go to theme parks. Oh, right. And um, this is my trip to Six Flags where I decided <laughs> to really dad it up. And I brought out my jorts. And uh, essentially, this is me at the merchandise little at gift Thrill shop World? there buying uh, fanny packs for everyone. <laughs> for everyone. So generous. Yeah. Thrill World. <laughs> Look at your water. What are you? What is that on? How are you holding that Gatorade on your back? Well, uh, I'd love to answer that question. When you <laughs> sign up for a membership at Six Flags, part of what you get with certain packages is a refillable soda slash water bottle, and it comes with a belt clip. And um, that way you can just carry that around with you, get a refill at certain stations. Yeah. Free soda all day. I, I filled it up no with water. No way. Yeah. Free fountain soda free, all day? Free fountain soda. All you got to do is wait in the 25-minute line to <laughs> refill it every time. <sighs> It's a steal. Free. And it looks cool. So, Jamie. Hey, look, I've never seen anything like it. For the blind, can you describe yes. what you're seeing right now? All right. Well, let's start at the bottom. Mm. We've got a pair of old school Asics. They are Asics. Okay. Those nice. are my uh, running shoes. Kasim's got some big feet. Putting that Whoa. out there, too. Ask pajama pants at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. We've got some white socks that are, you know, up mid calf or lower calf. Not quite like the 70s look. No stripes on them. Just plain white, but definitely mm -hmm. pulled up high and tight. By the way, those on those socks on me would be high calf. Cassim has a very long knee to foot. We do. Very <laughs> long patella. Very long I have, patella. I have a long dancer's leg. Very long shin bone. Mm. Right. Uh, then I've got jorts, mm -hmm. which if you don't know what those are, those are jean shorts, uh, there lo are, long ones. There are also, I think there's a couple of ways you could do jean shorts, like cool. That's not, not what it. he's going for. No. Mm -mm. These are no, no, no. just about a half inch above the knee. Uh, yeah, you don't want to leave too much to the imagination. They're tapered. You know, they're, they're, yes. they're hemmed, um, tight around the butt. Mm -hmm. Two, they're they they're long and also high waisted. Sure Very are. hard to find. Very vintage. Usually, your pants make your legs look bigger. Not here. No. Like not even. I mean, like they might even make your legs look an inch bigger. They look like you're not. If this was a silhouette, you'd be like, oh, that person's not wearing pants because they're so tight. Yes. Yes. That's the exact look I was they're going snug. for. You nailed yeah. it. Uh, he has a, uh, as he said, his refillable bottle. Uh, Attached to the back of his belt, so mm -hmm. hanging off. A black fanny pack, it looks like. I want to say a black, um, what are those rubber watches that everyone has? Eye watches? I no. Is Apple that an watches? Apple watch? No. That's an Apple watch. Oh, it yeah, is. Yeah. Sorry. But you thought it was like a G-Shock. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No, the G-Shock would have been good. I actually would have worn a G-Shock, but I figured there's certain things that are functional to me, like an Apple Watch, okay. and, and still consider a dad category. Got it, modern, yeah. modern dad. You just wanted your steps to count that day. Oh, <laughs> I, I want them to count every day. Yeah. yeah. Then we've got like a Hawaiian type, well, you know, an island print. I don't know, it's a little far from me right now to see, but an island print, button it's down, t-shirt uh, sleeve shirt, tucked it's, in. It's a bunch of wolf 
Wolf. Oh, obviously. It's wolf. Oh, I, now I can see that. Mm. Well, it was a bit. It like made my eyes kind of cross-eyed for a minute, but now that I can focus in, I see. I the have wolf. that effect. Then we've got some black <laughs> Wayfair sunglasses and a snug little baseball cap. Mm -hmm. uh, Rock in the beard. Yeah. Um, I'm impressed. Thank you. With your look, I bet you Wait. made a lot of people happy when they passed you by. Did you mention the fanny pack? She did. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. It's a Jan Sport uh, oh, mm, fanny pack. Mm, mm. I uh, look. This is a look that <laughs> really embarrassed everyone that was within a sort of like ten foot radius of really? me. Really? But, but I, I, f what they don't realize is I feed on their embarrassment, and and and, oh, and yeah. it keeps it just keeps me going. And not one moment did I ever feel like oh, I feel like an idiot. I I only blended in with a lot of the other dads and. Um, were there other people that look like you? Okay. Yeah, they're generally a little older. You were there that day. No. 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 He went to um, uh, Universal, Universal Studios. We did 80s night. Yeah. You were very neon. It was similar look, but neon. Yeah, everything's got a theme. It was an it was a 80s. Uh, I don't think you really dressed up. Um, yeah, I wore a black hoodie. For, you wore a black hoodie uh, 80s, that day. 80s night. Yeah, so, um, no, I appreciate it. And when Rob texted me and said, hey, I want a, a video that day, I wasted no time. And I was like, I've been waiting for this. I've been you waiting for him to ask You had that right ready me. to pull up, didn't you? Yeah, so. But you said you feed on the embarrassment, but I do feel like the first time you showed this to me, you were like, you're laughing a little too hard. Do you remember where we were when you showed this to me? Uh, No. We were by the fire in Big Bear. You guys oh. are like an old couple. Yeah. You're like, remember when you were when you showed this to me? By well, the fire in Big Bear. Yeah. Yeah, we were sitting by a, an outdoor fire. I, I um do remember you laughing harder than I thought you would have. <laughs> I was laughing for a good 15 it minutes. It tickled you, Rob. Just certain oh my things God. I don't know. Yeah. Are, yeah. They scratch them real, real mm -hmm. good. Because, yeah. you, because you know what it is? It's like when I first met Cassim, and still to this day, sometimes I sit there when I'm looking at him and I go, is he dressing right now because he finds this funny? Is this ironic? Yeah, that's on purpose. Like when I first met him, he was wearing like a Letterman jacket. And I'm like, what? Is he trying to be like, oh, look, I'm like a nerd yeah. in a Letterman jacket? Like it's it's so it's so dances around my head because growing up in New York City, I never knew anyone like that. Yeah. I yeah, didn't know. No. It's like you dress according to, you know. Yeah. And and to be honest, there was a part of my life where I felt like I had to dress a certain way. You love a theme party, don't you? Do love a theme party. But um, b part of being okay with myself has just become like, if you enjoy something, enjoy it, you know? I don't feel like nowadays <laughs> when I walk out of the house, I'm like, you know, is is this Rocco's Modern Life shirt, like, is that the coolest thing you can wear today, Cass? Probably not. But See, you know. I think that's a cool shirt. I do, too. Oh, I think it's a then. very cool outfit. It's like, I, so I don't care. I was also a fan, so. Yeah. Mm. I'm, so, yeah, there's there's a comfort in knowing that I, I can walk out of the house and, uh, you know, dress the way that I want to dress as opposed to the way the man or Whitey wants me to dress. I'm looking at you. Oh, yeah. Well, normally, it's just that when people, when people dress... However, they do dress. I'm. It doesn't like send off twenty questions in my head. Like, like it's usually like, mm -hmm. okay, that's how this person likes to dress. Where with you, it's like, man, what is he? What? What are you going? Like, I feel yes. like there's there's some sort of like um, mm -hmm. subtext <laughs> to what you're doing. Well, yeah, I mean, this this was more of a performance, you know. Yes. I, 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 but I do wear those during the summer. I wear those jorts all the time. Yeah, you, when we went on, when we were in Big Bear, you showed up to my room very early, knocking on the door in those shorts. <laughs> yeah, and you know, here's an outfit that I, I I really look forward to putting on soon. Is I have a full camo, full camo outfit, real tree. Where are you gonna put that on for? Well, you know, normally it would be like, well, that's what I would wear camping or something like that. But I think, I think I I would be Do okay. You think I'd like camping? You've never been camping? Never. In well, my this life. is interesting. Look how we got here. I think you'd I think you'd like glamping. I think it would be a very interesting vlog if the three of us went camping. Well, you're leaving us, so there's there's an idea we'll never do. <sighs> well, what do you think of when you think of camping? Because there's different ways to do it. And there's like Bryce over here, this guy, when when we went camping, when we went bigfooting, him and George uh, were like the dudes fully nude in a river, like bathing, you know, like these guys, Each live, other. they live off the land, you know, right. whereas visual. my idea of camping is like, that visual. I want it when I camp, I go, oh, I get to go to REI, you know, I get to go to REI, maybe like pick out a nice, 
uh, I don't even know what that tent, is. You know, like like a big five sporting, like a sporting goods store. Mm. Then I start thinking about the gear. Mm. I really get it. I, I'll mm -hmm. I'll walk by uh, the gear section that has like all the different kinds of like pots and pans with lids that fold in. Yeah, I yeah, love. Yeah. I well, love that shit. I love cool. butane. Yeah. I love uh, oh. a spork, you know, yep. utility knife thing. Absolutely. And then I'll like to go camping, um, you know, for a couple nights, you know, whereas. What is a couple nights? Two? Yeah. Okay. You know, <laughs> a couple <laughs> nights. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like two is very different than four or five. Um, it is. It so that's what I want to know. Because what you're kind of giving you. up on showers, you know, and um, not well, that, that you have to, not me. when you're not when you're Bryce, but uh, there there's a. Why <laughs> why won't you bathe in a river? I feel like uh, that's. I, I've never really been out in the woods long enough to where I needed to. I, I like sit in my own. You know what I did when we were out there? I used like. Uh, the, wa the wet wipes sure. on my body, mostly. Very down, environmentally. Mostly down there. Conscious. Because mm -hmm. I, I imagine Bryce and George, when they're like in the river showering, their chest is out and they're very like proud. Where if mm -hmm. you saw Kasim, he would be very like yeah. hunched over, arms in, like Freezing. looking around. I'd be like a creature. The water's yeah, yeah. cold. Right. Have you been camping? Uh, no, I mean, listen, there was a time where when I was like, so I was in, I told, I said it a million times, I'm sure, but I grew up very poor. Yeah. We went to, uh, I got sent to a camp that was like the worst camp of all time. Like, I'm talking the, like, it was like, oh, you're going to sleep away camp. And when we got there, it was like, yeah, you have your sleeping bag. And it was like, yeah. And it was like, okay. Like you, there, there's no, there was nowhere. It was like, yeah, like you can go up that like that up that dirt patch and like you could set your sleeping bag up wherever you want. Hey, it's time for a sponsor bit. Robbie, we have a Hello Tushy Bidet ad read. Isn't that nice? But tell, tell them how we clean our butts, babe. Well, how I clean my butt is I'm in the future, basically. I use my Hello Tushy Bidet to just make my butthole spick and span. And Mother's Day is coming up. And guess what? Your mom used to uh, wipe your butt for you all. And if you're in my case, up until you were 11. And now it's your time to return the favor and get your mom a Hello Tushy Bidet for Mother's Day. Um, bring your mama into the future with a brand new Hello Tushy Bidet, modern bidet attachment. It's stylish, eco-friendly, easy to install, and will help stop flushing her entire retirement down the toilet and toilet paper costs. A lot of money you're throwing down the drain, literally. Hello Tushy 3.0 cleans butts like a champ, but it doesn't just stop there. It cleans itself with the Smart Spray automatic self-cleaning nozzle. Give the gift of a clean butt. Go to hellotushy.com slash pajama and get 10% off plus free shipping. This is a special offer for our listeners at hellotushy.com slash pajama for 10% off. That's hellotushy.com slash pajama. And give your mom the gift of a clean butthole for Mother's Day. And that it was fucking insane. And I called my dad after one day and I was like, you got to come get me because this is insane. All they would give us was we were across the street from a cemetery. All they would give us. And it wasn't like a real cemetery. It was like where people just buried bodies. And there were like these like rinky dink just like, mounds and no headstones. Yeah, they were like terrible. They were like giant rocks like as like headstone. The craziest shit ever. And they were like. There was like what a. What did they advertise with this camp? There was like a nun and like. Uh, Don't scar your children. Two kids yes. who were like um, counselors? counselors or whatever. And they gave us, I'll never forget, the meals were um, uh, two cookies with peanut butter and jelly in, in the middle. And that's what you ate. I'm talking, uh, this was so bad. And. Uh, were there that activities? Went nothing. And when my dad finally came up. Uh, to get me sounds like a scam dude yeah when my yeah. dad finally will know because they didn't make any money it was like ten dollars a day when they finally came up to um to get me all the kids lined up and were like we want to leave <gasps> too and we just had to there was only one spot in the car and they had to like pick this one girl I knew who I was like oh yeah like well t they want everyone wanted to leave so but like the area you slept so in sad. was just covered in there were like these spiders and bugs. See, that's why I can't camp. 
It was insane. Like, I couldn't believe because all my friends, because, you know, when you go to public school in New York City, you're going to school with rich kids and fucking. And these kids are like, oh, my God, I go to Camp Lohican. Like, there's we have eight people sleep in a bun. I was like, oh, I want to go to camp, you know. And then when we went to the camp I could afford, it was literally like I remember I had a Jurassic Park um, sleeping bag. It was like dope. Yeah. And I had the the dinosaur on it that like the 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 raptor. no, no, no. The, the one f- that squirted Newman with the black tar? Yeah, he had it's the neck, like the neck fans. Nah, I, don't, I don't know. No, it's not, a, but he's very like- tss, Yeah, yeah, you I know? know that one. He, uh, so he was on my blanket. I mean, my uh, my Your sleeping, sleeping bag. bag. And it was one of the worst experiences. Oh, like sorry. I remember this is so bad. And there was like, if you wanted water, I remember there was like a pump mm-hmm. and like nothing came out. And there was a line of kids just like waiting to get water. It was crazy. It was like the- Who's that like, more, please, sir? Yeah. Can I have Oliver? some? It was like Oliver, Oliver nice. yeah. We were all like, it was fucking terrible. So bad. Oh and then they had God. to call the girl's parent and be like, hey. She, and she's like crying, like, I want to go home. Please, like, take me home. Other kids crying, like, please, we want to get out of here. It was the worst. Damn. Bo has his eyes set on this like hockey sleepaway camp. It, has he showed? He showed you the video. Yeah. Come on. We saw the video. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think about joining. Yeah. It looks. It looks. It really looks cool. so fun, right? Yeah. But I feel like seven's really young to like send your kid off to sleepaway camp. I don't know if I could ever, let alone a week. I don't know. He's not eight yet. No, he turns. He'll turn be eight the end of August. Oh wow. He's a little boy. Hmm. Little guy. I I have a fondness for camping. I um. You know, I, I might have spoke about the uh, sixth grade sleepaway camp that I went on, but like that's generally, we went away for a week, um, and the whole your whole class that you yeah go to we did with. that too yeah yeah and I remember I I have even though I didn't shit the whole week I I held it in, um, I had like a crush on this girl and there was like a big square dance at the end of it and like it was filled with romance it was filled with like oh, a little danger just so much fun night hikes. They did this thing where they made us all chew like uh, like those mint uh, thing. It was like a mint, and then you chew it in the middle of the night, and your mouth lights up. They just had all this kind of cool stuff, and uh, I, I thought that's kind of what, like when you watch shows like Salute Your Shorts, you remember that yeah. show? I yeah. thought that's what camping was all about, and um, you know, to me, now going is like you know, it's just kind of like you and your girlfriend or you and your bros drinking around a fire, which mm. is. Uh, Camp it's less. Wanda. Yeah. We hold you in our hearts. And mm, when mm, we mm, think mm, about you, mm, it makes, makes me want to fart. fart. It's uh, get it right or pay the price. Oh, it's a hope yeah. we'd ever part. Get it right or pay the price. And that's when the flag goes Salute up. Salute your right? shorts, Nickelodeon. That and Pete and Pete. That should bring us to then the TGIF because, yes, that was that whole Big era. Big brain. Big brain. Way to go, yeah. That was that whole time. Yeah. All those shows, man. But I hated Salute Your Shorts. I was I thought it was too like hitty. What's the one on the ranch? With Ben Stiller's wife. Hey dude. Dude, I had I had uh, so many dreams about her during the Hey Dude era. Oh, she was Mm. so gorgeous. She was the hottest girl. I think I might have had a almost wet dream Mm. with her, Mm. but nothing. It was a dry dream. Thank you for telling me. Very attracted to her. Um, even though I didn't really understand what was going on on the show because I was Nothing a little was. too young. It was like they worked at a ranch, uh, and that's all I really know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's not TGIF, No, right? that was Nick. Let's, can we list the TGIF shows? Yes, because, step by step. Yeah. Full House. Yes. Perfect Strangers? Was that part of it? Yep. Very good. Uh... What am I missing? Urkel? I, I mean, you're you're saying arguably- Family Matters. Family Matters. Family Matters, yeah, but you're arguably missing what could be ar- argued as the best TGI show. My Two Dads? Nope. Boy Meets World. Oh, oh duh. yeah. But that was like the next iteration a, a little, little bit. A little later. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I got it. Um, so Family Matters, Boy Meets World, Step by Step, Perfect Strangers. Very good, Jamie. You got the top. Uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch mm-hmm. was on there, which I never, yep. garbage, who cares? Uh, dinosaurs. Remember dinosaurs with not the mama, the baby? Dinosaurs. No. I don't know how they made I think they did that show for three seasons. Was it spelled like the word dinosaurs? Yeah. If you would have told me that each one of those episodes cost ten million dollars to make, I'd be like, that's too low. I don't know how I don't know how that show aired 
on a weekly basis. It seemed like a lot of work. There was a, was there a big oh, name behind yeah, that? Oh yeah, I remember it. Oh yeah, the, not the mama. If you don't know, you got to remember not, not the mama. Not the mama. Yeah. What what uh who was there a big name behind that? Who produced that, Jamie? Can you can you look at that? And was uh, it like a Jim Henson studio production or something? It was. I feel like it was a little too mature for that. Like it, I don't Jim think, Henson. Oh, very good cast. Yep. Well, Jim Henson did a lot of like older stuff, you know, like the Dark Crystal. I think he it's did. It's about the blue stuff. collar dinosaur Earl Sinclair, who tries yeah. to cope with the short tempered boss Bradley P. Richfield of the Wis- Wiseco Corporation. Uh, Got a 96 on Rotten Tomatoes. It's a fantastic show. I think the end of it was really weird. Like there was uh, the Ice Age was coming. You yes, know. it said topical issues including environmentalist, endangered species, LGBT rights, censorship, and corporate crime. That yeah. poor baby, huh? It was just going to get frozen. The it baby actually reminds me of aired Jack. from April 26, 1991. Oh, I thought it said only half a year until October 1994. Oh, so it was on for a minute. Three seasons, I think. And then we yeah. had, remember uh, Santa Buddha said to Buddha hanging instead of Mr. Cooper. Remember that? Hang out with Mr. Cooper. Oh, hang out with Mr. Cooper. Yeah. Full right House. Back. Full House was so good. That's what I, I, mean, I think it comes down to Full House or as much as I loved Perfect Strangers, Balky Bartokoma. Uh, I, I think it comes down to Full House or Boy Meets World. Yeah. Really. But let me hold on. So we had Sister Sister, terrible. Trash. Shows T and Tamara, terrible. Just the ten of us is great show. Yeah. Loved it. They all lived in that. I loved all the girls had that upstairs thing. I always wanted to and one of them was named Jamie, which I thought was so cool because no one uh, was named Jamie anyway. Bye. Uh and then in the it started it started off with uh like right in the beginning of TGI Friday or like right before, like what gave them the idea was they had Webster and Mr. Belvedere. Oh yes, Webster was Webster was coach? big. Was coach even though he TGF? wasn't, it was big. Coach, I don't know. No, no. it wasn't. But Coach was great. great show. So Gunther, yes, right or Luther? What was it? Luther? No idea. I would have said yes to both of those. <laughs> yeah, the tall blonde yes. guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. But I, I was shocked that Not a fan? Fresh Prince never watched it. Oh shame. I was shocked that Fresh Prince was never on TGIF. That was Channel Eleven. Wasn't it? That was the best. Uh, oh. And also, Who's the Boss? I, I kind of felt like that was in that. I watched a lot of Who's the Boss. Yeah. Hey, yo, oh, oh, way. I used to get Alyssa Milano all the time when I was little. Ooh, that I looked like yeah. her. I wish I got her. It was the was biggest little. compliment I could have ever gotten. She's as Yeah, her as Sam. As Sam. A, as a tomboy. Yep. Um, and that was me. Very. That was, that was, I was like Sam growing up. Yeah, Except you're almost dressed like her like right theater. now. You just have to have like a backwards, backwards hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So what babe. what are we saying is is the, what is it for you, Cass? Full What's House number, was one? My number one? <sighs> yeah, I think it's gotta be. I um, this is tough because I I love Boy Meets World as an adult probably the most. Back then, I felt like everyone called me Urkel, and I I really identified as Steve Urkel, so I watched a lot of Family Matters. But now I think Dinosaurs might be under what? the radar the best show. That's bananas we should go back and watch we should go back and watch dinosaurs yeah all those issues that they brought up back then are still present today yeah the ice age global oh, warming oh you don't think lgbtq plus rights are important and should be talked they about they didn't do lgbtq plus rights they did lgbt <laughs> oh, yeah. she got me but i mean to say dinosaurs is the best do you remember alf of course do you remember out of this world I is do that remember Saturday out morning, of this world. Yeah, yeah. And she would talk to her mom or dad in that crystal. Incredible. Oh, that was Saturday morning. Saturday mornings was also great programming. You had Saved by the Bell. Yeah. You had um, Rest in peace, Out of this Preach. World. Uh, what else was Saturday mornings? Oh. I'm not. I, I know they would throw a lot of cartoons in there. Like, yeah, but there was, a, there was another sports. show that went with Saved by the Bell. That was like a kind of wannabe new say by the bell. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, for me, like Family Matters was just paired up with everything, you know? Like yeah. uh, um, uh, Family Matters was a real. So if you, were, if, you, if you identified with Urkel, when you saw Stefan, we were like, that's me. You know, one of the best compliments I got from a girl was, hey, if it takes S- Steve Urkel 46 seconds to turn into Stefan Urkel, I believe you are what happens at the 23 second mark. Uh-huh. Right. And that girl's name we will never say. She knows who she is. Or does Good she? morning, Miss Bliss. 
Oh, that's when they tried to do the spin off. Uh, California Dreams. Wasn't my mm. thing. I don't know. Wasn't my thing, but I did watch Sweet Valley High on Fox 11. <laughs> Fox. Uh, all right. Uh, because that was one of my questions, right? What was the best? But then also, if you had to go back and watch one right now, if you had to go do a rewatch, I think Boy Meets World. That's Boy where... Meets World's always, I'm a huge. Just uh, 10 of us. I would love to see an episode of that again. Yeah. What was the That's spin-off? Fred Savage's brother. And his first ben name, Savage. Ben Savage. Yeah. By the way, we're kind of leaving out Step by Step. Step by Step was- No, Step by Step was bomb. Which was the one Christine Lacken was on, yeah, Step that's, by Step, she's right? she's my friend, yeah. Yeah, she's great. She uh, played, uh, what was her, what was her character? We'll make name? it better the second time around. Was that that? The people we go, people we the go. stronger we stay. Yeah. We'll make it better. And the roller coasters. The yeah. second time around. Yeah. That was a good show. It Charles good in show. Charge. Great. Oh, she. speaking of Nicole Eggert. Valerie's house? Nicole Eggert, or you know what we should do? We should do the top young, like when who we had a crush on when we were kids. Tiffany so there's, Amber Thiessen. So we got, Ooh. oh, here we go. I need a fucking new page here. <laughs> Tiffany, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. I think she just goes by TFT. Tiffany Thiessen now. Topanga? Oh, Topanga. Topanga. Danielle McKellar. From Danica uh, McKellar. What, Dana McKe- McKellar from uh sorry, that was a hard poke. From the Wonder Years. Very hard poke. Oh yeah. Whitney. Right? Whitney, right? Mm, no. no. It was like sad. It's like Winnie. Oh, Cooper. Winnie. Cooper. Winnie. Winnie Cooper. Okay. Yeah. She I mean, was we're really splitting hairs. Boy me uh uh <laughs> Wonder <laughs> Years was my that, that's my all time oh, favorite yeah. show. Yeah. You know they're and reboot they're remaking it. I know, it. yes, I know. But in six in the sixties and 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 um really Focusing on like segregation. Yeah, it's, a, it's an African American family yep. in the six. Yeah, yep. I think it'll be great. A I great angle. So, Fred and... Savage directing. I love it. Yes. So um, Nicole Nicole Eggert, Winnie Cooper, uh, Topanga, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Who uh who the who's Danica, the boss? Oh, uh, Alyssa, Alyssa Milano. Milano. Alyssa Milano. Yep. You wrote Nicole Eggert. Uh, oh, you know another uh, show that was on TGIF was Clueless. For like oh, a couple of, they tried to make a TV show of Clueless, oh. but that brings us to Alicia Silverstone. Yeah. yeah. Every. Oof. What about uh, Alex Mack? Who's that? Secret World, according to Alex Mack. Yeah, oh, that, that came a, a little bit after. Oh. Yeah, they came. Yeah. But you know, for a while, I did have a crush on Melissa Joan Hart for Clarissa Explains It All. You oh, could put really? her on there. Yeah, she had. Yeah, she's no Danica McKellar. She had to be on the list if you're talking. She had like sister vibes, I feel like. Uh, what about uh then you probably liked Blossom too. Huh? <laughs> I do like a I I do like a unique face. <laughs> right. Blossom was real cute. Maya Bialik. Oh uh, yes, this call me cat which burning up the charts. I'm How sure. do you even know that? <laughs> because the billboards are everywhere and everywhere. it makes me <laughs> <laughs> Right, Cass? Don't doesn't that does don't, don't those billboards get me a little frustrated? He gets really Call me mad. Cat. He gets really mad whenever we drive by that billboard every, Call me every Cass. Thursday. Yeah. Uh, I just can't. I'm thinking about driving a different way home just to see if cuz it, you can it, see more? He gets real fired up. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. just to yeah. avoid it. Yeah. Kasim, Kasim tries to point something out on the other side of the road whenever yeah. we, he's to like, oh, there's that you. motel. Is that a fire fireball accident? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look over here. Look, look, look. Yeah. All right, do, Jamie, do we go to the sex questions now? I feel like that's what you want. Let's let's, let's do oh, it. I've been waiting for Let's it. fucking go, Cass. It's a, new, yeah, it's a new segment we like to call Get Sex, Get Sexed Up with Jamie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so I, have a, yeah, I, have, I don't want to hear that again. I have a couple. Jamie Lee, have you ever been mid-sex with a guy and thought this was a mistake? Yep. Hell yeah, dude! Wow. See, it's not as bad as you thought it might have been, okay. right? What? So what? What? Tell why? What was it? Just mid sex. Just, just uh, this. Yeah. I shouldn't be doing this with this person. I have no feelings for this person. Like this is not where I want to be. Like I can't believe I'm adding another. <laughs> this is not like, where I want to be. <laughs> That's so funny. I can't believe I'm adding another like number to my list for this person. He's not worth it. But that, and is that only because the sex was not good? Just all of it. Like, just being like, I put way too much expectations on this. I have no feelings for this person. I'm wasting my time. But then you go, you know what? That's I'm, where I'm I a... think men and women differ. Oh, of course. But then you go, I'm a gamer. I'm going to power through this and let him keep pounding me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't like run away all of a sudden. I'm like, ah, this was a bad idea. Listen, right. even though this is not where I want to be right now, go ahead and finish. <laughs> so how do you think? I, I'm I, polite. 
uh, explain how, this is how men Why and women are, are different. Me? Oh, because oh, because for <laughs> me, I'm like, this isn't worth it. I don't have feelings for you. I think a guy doesn't think that. He's, it's always worth it, I would think, to a guy. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you feel like you have to have feelings? Or are you talking about- For me, yeah, fit- clearly. Emotional. Because of you d- like that. You've never just had a physical. You've been no. like, oh, this person's very hot. There's no. nothing. I've always past. had um, emotions for someone. Well, you hate Cutter. You fuck him sometimes. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you feel I'm not even responding to that. <laughs> That's how he invented the Theragun. He had all that spare time on his hands. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, get the soldering iron out and develop a new That's technology. Right. Yeah, three years ago, there was a pussy on the end of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the stress of daily life weighs on us all. I know it's it's weighing on me, guys. And I'm not an elite athlete. I'm just a regular person trying to get through the day, you know? And muscle pain and muscle, ten- muscle tension is a real thing. And that's why I've been an OG user from the beginning. I may be sleeping with an employee, but that has nothing to do with it. Of Theragun, <laughs> you guys. It is... The absolute premium item to get, it is the handheld percussive therapy device that it releases your deepest muscle tension using this scientifically calibrated combination of depth, speed, power, and now it's as quiet as an electric toothbrush. I literally use it in bed while we're watching TV, and you know my chewing, my breathing bothers Cutter when we're watching television, but not my Theragun, because that's how quiet it is. And you can try Theragun for 30 days because there is no substitute for the Theragun Gen 4. It has this OLED screen, a personalized Theragun app, and the quiet and power you need, like I talked about. And it's starting at only $199. So if you go to theragun.com slash pajama right now, you can get your Gen 4 Theragun today. Rob, you love the Theragun, right? I love the Theragun. I use it after I work out. I use it sometimes before sleep. I love it. It's so good. It's good. And you know, everybody knows I like to treat myself nice. It's a That's nice right. little, it's a nice way to treat yourself nice. It is. It's the ultimate uh, action of self-love, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. So again, you guys go to theragun.com slash pajama right now to get your Gen 4 Theragun today. That's theragun.com slash pajama, theragun.com slash pajama. Um, okay. Have you ever had to tell production when you were filming something like hey i'm on my period for any reason no like uh like it would get in the way of something yeah like oh white pants like we want you to swim with sharks in the scene no no nothing (laughs) nothing like that because i could pick it like if you were at at heavy flow time and they were like hey here's a pair of white pants it wouldn't you wouldn't be like uh there's ways to like not bleed through your pants well i'm sure but it's also like but just the (laughs) bleeding through mine right now (laughs) can you yeah, out of his asshole. <laughs> can you can you explain to Cass? How, I feel so good when everyone in the room's laughing. <laughs> can you explain to Cass how to stop the bleeding? I would love to know. Uh, they have tampons. They have pads. Tampons. Maxi pads. Yeah, of course. But st- sometimes you 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 know. Do you they have your... heavy flow. What things for heavy flow days as well? But you don't worry. No, like for to fuck. answer your question, I've never had to be like. <laughs> Hey, yo, heavy flow day. Got to redo this filming sketch or whatever. And I've never had that. I just thought maybe like, hey, not not the hammerhead, you know? Right. No, well, I've never been in a film hey, like that. No great whites. No, We're going to yeah. go s- sand sharks that's, only. That's why I stay away from shark films primarily. Do you, ah. do you remember the first time you bled? Yes. You know, like in Bridgerton? Sure. You know, when and all of a sudden she's like, oh. Well, she was just mad that she wasn't pregnant. It wasn't necessarily the first time she. Oh, well, I thought okay. Where were uh, you? He never listens to women. That's... Was it on a horse? Where was I? I was at the theater I always performed at. Oh my god! Uh, see, you might have had to tell them. You were. At I the did. Theater. I had to tell someone. Well, so you lied to me. You well, lied. No. You're leaving and lying. I didn't. It didn't get in the way of anything. I just was like, oh god, I got my period for the first time. I was like 14. Were you and... like, hell yeah, dude? I was excited, of course. Like, I was like on, one of the last ones. To, I was one of the last ones. To Were you like, it. you make me feel? No, <laughs> I was panicking because I had to wear a leotard, and I didn't know how to put a tampon I feel like in. That's the last thing you would ever want to wear. So one of the chorus girls came in and basically just opened my legs and put it in for me. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> what was her age? She was like in her early 20s. And I was like, I can't put it. I have never had my period before. I don't know how to put a tampon in. So, so now, she coached you... me through the door and I couldn't do it. So she's just helped me. Oh, my God. If I could get the dialogue, if I could get that written out of just like, <laughs> OK, oh. <laughs> Kasim is rattled, bro. Why? What you're describing is, <laughs> I think, assault. For the first time ever, Kasim's going to be the red one on the show. Oh, my God. Kasim's and when turning... I turn red, it's it's like a, a fire orange red. Mm. Yeah. So are you, you're, when she comes in and puts it in you, are you sitting on the toilet? Yeah, like kind of, yeah, pretty. I think I like hovered over and she just, she didn't like go under me. She was just like, here, look, help me. And she's like, push it in. I pushed it in. Who pushed it in? <laughs> I don't remember. I, I mean, this is very Jamie. Jamie, who? 25 years ago. Who pushed it in? Do you think we could get her to call into the show? I can try and get in. Her name is Robin. I'll try and get in touch with her. Whoa. Because that's. I'll see if she remembers. That's very cool that you had someone Givens? there to help you. So cool. I, the also, the older girls that were like in their early 20s, I was 14, were like my big sisters. I mm. was doing theater shows with them all the time, all throughout the year, they were, I was like their baby. So like their little sister got her period for the first time. I needed some help. I didn't have my mom there, you know? Did anyone help you when you first had your first little? Somebody help me push it in. Squirt? Oh, I pushed it in on my, oh, did somebody <laughs> help me? No, it was just. I don't know if you were like me, but there was a while when I started experimenting with myself that nothing came out. Shocking. Right. I, for me, it was my first time. I was. I remember. See, I was there's standing. nothing sexual about what I was talking about. You no, I think that. no, like, no. There's nothing sexual. I actually about think it's sweet that somebody helped you out, but it's just the way you're like, yeah, she just spread my legs open, just yeah. shoved it right yeah. in. Yeah, it, it was, was very a, like uh, uh, push pop, e, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I did kind of do that. Yeah. Yeah. Which love a push pop. Yeah, push it with flavor. The Flintstones. Don't push in my tampon. Push a push pop. Yeah, <laughs> that was the Don't slogan. Don't push me. Push yeah, a push I'm Jamie pop. for push pops. That. Oh my God, Jamie. Could you imagine how fucking funny of a person you would have been if right after she put in your tampon, you were like, "Don't push me. <laughs> push a push pop." That would have been the greatest. Oh, if you were just like, "I got him. Yeah. I got him all day." Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even on the toilet bleeding, I'm just fucking Don Rickles. You left a lot of jokes on the table. That's why they don't hire me for comedies. Yeah. Well, I feel like I learned a lot about you. Oh, that's nice. I learned that you uh, are incapable of having sex with men that you don't have feelings for. That's right. But you have. You said something Only when you were- Only like once or maybe twice. You said something about how you uh, you can't believe you're adding to your number. Yeah. See, I think men have the opposite- For sure. Feeling about that. I don't like, I didn't like my number going up for a waste. Yeah, uh, for this. Yeah, exactly. Well, this. I think- Younger. I fucking count this guy now. When I was a younger man, it was like that. But now that I'm an older man, I'm ashamed, and I wish my number You're wasn't. Your number was your number. I have no idea. There was a time. I honestly don't. There was a time between 17 and let's say, just just 21, where I was going out seven nights a week when we weren't it was working. A sport. And even if you say, even if you say, one girl a week, and you take two weeks vacation, you got 50 girls a year. But I'm not. I'm not saying I, that because I don't know. But You're when incredible. I think back on it, I'm like, well, that's how. Okay. You gotta come. up. But okay. by the way, first 16 years of my life, one. How sweet is that? So sweet. Lovable Rob. Same Z's. Yeah, but then, you know, I went out to my first club and I was like, oh my god, these girls will sleep with me. Mm -hmm. And and I just wasn't. I was like, you know, there was, you know. Especially in the beginning, man, it was like, oh my god, this girl's grabbing my my dick, like, whoa. like yeah, oh, okay, what, like you know, she it might as well have been a leash. She could have walked me, yeah, any like I would have yeah. followed. Like those those first couple of months of like, because the first shock of, oh my god, the guy who owns like the best club in New York at the time is just gonna let me in whenever yeah. I want. And then when I was in there, like once or twice a night, a girl coming over and like grabbing me or kissing me or this, it was like holy shit, like. I had only dated girls who were my age also, so I had only been with girls who were 16. So, and now all of a sudden it was like, oh, this girl's 26. And is like, yeah, well, I, we, I have my car outside or we could go back to my place. And I'm like, what? And you were how yeah. old? I was 17. But oh, just, just so for a girl cool. to say like, I have my own place, I was like, I'll marry you. You know right. what I mean? Just to think like, oh, there's somewhere I could go that's not the park and smoke weed and drink right. and hang out. 
is so fucking amazing. And then the fact on top of it, she'd be like, yeah, I want to fuck. It was, it was crazy. And I also didn't have that thing in me of like, hey, on Tuesday, you hooked up with this girl and had a great time. And then on Friday, like she's not around, but this other girl who's super hot is coming over to you and she wants to hook up. Like I didn't even have in my head of like, huh, there should be some kind of moral, like, should I do this? Is this wrong? Like, it was just like, this yeah, is great. Yeah, but you great. know what that is also, too, is girls, it's not even about you and your own decision. A girl will be massively judged for that. A guy won't be. And that's why we think differently a lot of the time, too, yeah. I think, is because, oh, I'm worried more about my number going up because of how it's going to look for other people. Yeah. And that's that's it. I mean, it's just because of how I it's I'm realizing it's just because of how I was fearing of being judged. But I just want to say that's also just we're talking about in society, because when you talk yes. person to person, there were a lot of girls who would be like, I would never touch him because course, they saw who course, I was and what I was doing. at well, the time. Well, just because they didn't want to get hurt. No, no, no. I think the fact that like they knew how many women I was sleeping with and I never used a condom until I was 21, wow, you're 22. So lucky, no baby so lucky. It's insane. Uh, yeah, I, I. We could raise a kid. Me and you. you. That would be such a cute. Show. Oh, my God. That would be a great. Bring back TGI. TGIF. Fr- yeah, we bring back TGIF. I'll, I'll fucking finance this pod. Uh, this uh, sitcom. Perfect Dads. Here's My a, two dads, a reboot. Yeah. Yeah. But like, make it like um, like uh, the Louis C.K. show. Do you know what I mean? Like, make it... Like surreal? Make it, you know, curse on it, dirty humor. I don't think yeah. it should... I think it should be on HBO Max. Oh, can't wait. They've been dying to hire you again, Rob. Come on, <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, I did wonders for their, their brand. You did? <laughs> what do you mean? Was there ever... A moment where you got naked with somebody and then you saw that person and you were like, hmm, 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 when you looked at his penis and you said, hmm. No, because I Has it ever been so small that it turned you off? Oh, no. She vetted them out first. No. No. And are you looking before is it, before you get to that point, are you like at dinner like scoping out no. the bulge or like- no. Do you ever, like, you see that that something and you're like... All vibe. All vibe. Thank you so much. It's so refreshing to hear. You see him naked sometimes and you go, oh, this is going to be an easy night. You know? (laughs) Like, I'm not going to need... I could still... I could go do Soul Cycle tomorrow. Yeah. (laughs) Even though... Not going to be sore. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's not really where... I would just say... No, I don't even want to go there. Have you you ever saw one where you were just like... I don't know if I can... That's a... That's a big, that's a lot. I don't think I've ever had like a moment, enough time where I could actually sit there and be like, hmm. Like it's a, it's a very hmm. like ripping clothes off type of thing. It's not like you have, I, I've never sat yeah. across naked from someone new with like time to contemplate. I'll just try and get naked under the covers as quick as possible. <laughs> you know, make sure the lights are super low. Uh, how do you feel about when you're done having sex, like walking to the bathroom naked? Are you always fine oh, with that? Yeah. I. I feel like I, I walk out with my chest out a little bit. Can yeah. I can I can I predict the Yami Lee? Can I predict what, what I do? What she yeah, yeah, yeah. when she gets out of bed? Like if it was if it was this new, this is gonna be great. If it was new, right? Okay. We're not talking like about I'm just right now. Matt Cutter. Yeah, or like yeah, whatever. A new guy. Here's Jamie Lee going to the bathroom after sex. <laughs> like, like she's handcuffed, <laughs> but she's just covering her butt a little like that i don't think i you do that prude. no uh-uh. that's what that's what i think of yami lee like i think I it's like, like this t- i tip definitely tiptoe yeah yeah but i think it's like a not like oh my god i'm so embarrassed but kind of like a cute like ooh, i don't want to just be like i think it would, i would be more like biting my kind of mousy <laughs> kind of mousy yes. yeah 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 i see that because they're not were... a sex bomb guys not who I am. You know, that's a great montage for a movie of like trying to explain how many girls a guy's been with, like all the different ways girls walk yeah. to the bathroom. Because there, I remember, I could remember like it was yesterday, this one girl who had such insane tan lines that I, I was like- She had I, a spray tan. It was like, I was like, this is insane. It's a like tan. her skin was, so she looked more tan than both you guys. Yes. And then she was whiter than her ass was whiter it's than me. Spray and it, tan. Yeah. Well, when you spray tan, don't you do Jamie, it? Jamie, was it a, was it a, whole, was no, it a spray a tan, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> 
do you think was she on the boardwalk or was this some For sort of fuck's sake. a lot of people uh, when they get them <laughs> i don't want to yeah. say it again uh sometimes wear <laughs> underwear tan. for this for the tan line yeah oh well it seems like that uh, defeats the purpose of getting a spray tan you Sometimes just... it's just fun because you're just being like, "Look how tan I am." Mm -hmm. I just think, I just think that like to put, it's almost like there's like this weird highlighter around your sexual area. Like, here are my two breasts, my right, vagina, right. and my <laughs> ass, and they're very like, like it's, it's it, to me, it was a huge turnoff. Like, mm. but did her not, skin smell weird? No, but let me tell you this: if it's slight tan lines, I think it's hot. Mm. I think yeah. that's sexy. But when it's like painted. Yeah, when it's insane, when it's like, when it looks like this yes. kind of, like, you know, like the this uh, paper. What if there's no tan this. lines? Great. Like, where are you getting your sun? You know, how are you doing this? Is your vitamin D low? Yeah. I'd say uh, I walk to the bathroom very proudly after. I'm and then I, and then I curl up and I clean it off, you know. I do, I have actually a, a couple different ways I like to uh, clean off. Would you like to hear? Sure. Basically, it's a it's a tissue start with a wet wipe finish. Now, what I would recommend to one of our sponsors, Tushy, is some sort of front bidet for those after sex. Just turn cleanups. around, cowboy style, reverse cowgirl. It's too concentrated that stream. <laughs> yeah, I need It'll something. It'll hurt you. It'll hurt you. I need a sleeve like a golf ball cleaner where you can put <laughs> it in, and it's very it's nice. And because after your Maybe penis is you very need sensitive. Maybe you need to invent this. Maybe I do. Maybe hey, you guys over at Tushy want to uh, hook up on this, and we can do some sort of our next episode sponsored by Casim's new product. That yes. would be fucking. Man. What are we calling it? Send them in. Send in some names, please. Mm. Yeah. Ask pajama pants. Well, working titles are the uh, uh, front front wash. No. Dick. Terrible. Dick clean. No. I'm really going deep here. Uh, the uh, sheath sheath sh sheath cleaner. Why sheath? Because he's like a sword where you put it in. Shaft, 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 Ooh. shaft something. Ooh. Okay, I like where your head's at. <laughs> shaft shower? Spick and shaft. Spick and shaft? <laughs> <laughs> shaft and shine? shine. Shower, shower rod? No. Uh, eh. oh, it's a little too, like, you, you don't want to have your, you know, like, you don't want yeah, the exact Yeah, it's another name. product. Yeah. yeah, it's another product in the Home Depot aisle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Well, look, there's something here, you know, and I would love to be able to not have to use uh, wet wipes because we know how unflushable they are. Yep. It'd be nice to have something that cleaned it because sometimes when you wake up the next morning and you haven't done a good clean job and oh. you snap the old basketball shorts, snap them and you get that little gust of air and it's like, oh yeah, I had sex last night. Mm -hmm. It's not great. Not great. No. So you, you ever get that? No. <laughs> so you start with a- <laughs> After sex smell? No. Yeah. I don't think so. Well, I think it's just, I mean, I don't know. I've never not, I've never uh, been turned off by like a, mm -hmm. s like a smell after sex. It just makes me feel like, oh, it smells like sex. Yeah. Yeah. I feel this. Uh, the only time uh, I get, uh, well, I guess sometimes I'm, I'm, uh, you get excited by it. And other times, like if you're sober and you walk in, like is uh, Spearmint Rhino, which is a strip club in uh, Vegas. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of oh. them, but. The one in Vegas. Uh, when Have you, you been? When you walk in there, it sometimes it just smells like ejaculation. It just smells like like set, like locker room vagina yeah. man. They're like it's a real. There's like you go in and you're like oh my, and that's the thing, right? You could kind of tell how fucked up you are by that. If like if that smell hits you, like you should go to the bar and take a couple uh. shots. Where like nor like sometimes you just walk in and you're like yeah. Hey, I don't, and then mm -hmm. I've had to go a couple times forced to go sober, like since I've been sober, like, and, and I hate it, I, I walk, but you walk in and you're like, how are people having a good time in here? Yeah. Like it smells it so bad, so Whoa. crazy. Like it smells like- Are the strippers fucked up too? Oh, a lot of them are. They Mentally are. and no, on I meant substance. Like, I meant like on substance. All of, they yeah, are. everybody, you're fucking every, it's the best time. Cause listen, to be honest, I'm not a strip club guy. Like going to strip clubs in New York, hated it. Wasn't wasn't my thing. There was a time where like the first time you go, you're like, oh, this is cool and it's fun. But yeah, it's very like, hey, do you want to dance? Like like, would you like a, a girl to dance? So like like a girl's trying to make twenty bucks. Where this place in Vegas is like, you're at a nightclub and the girls there are strippers and they'll just hang. It's like eleven now in Miami, kind of. But like you know, ten years ago at Spearmint Rhino, it was like 
you would you'd be in there for two hours and no girl would be like, hey, you want to dance? And there would just be like six girls around you and your buddies that having a good time, laughing, drinking. Like it wasn't. And then you have the girls who are very like on the clock, you know, yeah. like, hey, do you want to dance or no? If not, I'm walking away. But you, we would, you know, think being that would be from, me. Right. Yeah. That would probably be my, my stripper style. Really? You think so? Yeah. We well, because see, we read I'd be that. charming. I would totally be charming and hang. And then if I'd be like, hey, bud, is this going to happen or not? Because this is my job. Yeah. Yeah. See, what's interesting is I one time I was in Vegas and I was sitting at a bar and I I used to go to Vegas for months by myself, like before I moved there yes. even. And um, I would get to a hotel, put my bags down, go downstairs to a bar by myself, start drinking, just partying, whatever. Not no plans to meet up with anyone. Just, you know, fucking let's go. And I was sitting at a bar at the Rio, like shit bar, like a hotel bar where you could just like you put ten dollars in the machine and then you could just drink for free. Yeah. So I would put money in there. I knew the guy behind the thing. I'm just drinking for free all night. And a girl sat next to me and gave me that like, like, hey, I'm a hooker. Like I, I could feel it. Like she it was very business. What's like the look. Well, like it was just the way she was holding her bag like this and like had her legs crossed and was just kind of like looking around. She saw me and she was like, like yeah, kind of like women don't do that in. Like naturally, for well, the not most to part. you, but definitely not to me. Yeah, but there's got to be a some sort of there's like, like a there's like a instead. So I just okay, wondered how it went down. Here we go. Ready? So this is a girl saying, "I think you're cute," right? Like that, and this is a girl being like, "Hey, this is how much it is for like I charge by the hour." Is so basically, Rob just looked at me and smiled yeah, with the, with the girl that was like, "You're cute," and, and then the like, hooker and then like they kind of like was look away, like. Being like, let's get out of here. Yeah, like we'll kind of like, like let's gest- get out of here. Gesture down towards maybe like her vagina. Like or... you want a piece of this? Yeah, like it's like, hey, are we? You know, and also you one down? one thing you know the difference between a hooker and a regular girl is a hooker will never break the eye contact first, <sighs> ever. So if a hooker's looking at you, it's like, yeah, I'll like there's no down. look away. Where if it's a contact. regular girl and just you, you smile and you smile back, it's like that look away. Like, wow, oh. this is great character research. If I ever play a hooker one day, yeah. Oh, I got. Yeah, this, if you this, ever this, play one, yeah, I, you're coming up. You're gonna be getting one of those roles. You think? Oh, absolutely. You think I can still absolutely. get a hooker role? Didn't you play Lake. Heidi Fleiss? Mm-hmm. That's pretty close. Yeah, she yeah, was like captain was more of the of a hooker. Madam, she was like hooker sergeant. She yeah, was in she started as a hooker, but she was more a madam. Somebody asked about you being on uh, How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. They wanted to know about that. I was a woo girl. What is that? It's a girl that gets drunk and goes, woo, after everything. Oh, okay. Like, you know. I don't think I've seen you drunk. Not many people have. It's not fun. It it, it lasts very, like, 30 minutes later. She's like, I gotta go. You know, it's not a lot of fun. Thanks. What? I'm just saying you're not like... It's not like, all right, Jamie's going to drink yes. tonight. Get yes. ready for some fun. Like, yeah. there's like 30 minutes of fun, and then she's like, I think I, <laughs> you know, she can't, she yeah. can't handle I can't hang. Mistake. That's why I don't drink. I can't hang. Yeah. Oh, I man. get tired, and I want to go home. And it wasn't fun for me especially because I would be like just starting the car, you know, and Jamie right. would be like, oh, we're at a camp. Oh, Rob has spent many nights like yelling at me at a club telling me I'm so lame for going home. Yeah. Yeah. And I've also spent times where like I had been out, and then it was like the next night and Jamie was around and I was still going and Jamie's like, all right, I'm going to go. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, you know, like, and I'm on hour 28, you know, and Jamie's just. Jamie. Yeah. It, yeah. Jamie would, we would, there were times where we'd go to like a restaurant or something. Right. And like there would, it would be one of those situations where like, oh, there's a prefix dinner and like, you, you know what you're going to eat. You don't have to order anything. So when you get there, there's like. A, like a wine glass, a champagne glass, and then like your other glasses. And then they'll fill the champagne glass like and, and it doesn't fill. Right. It goes like halfway. And you'll look at Jamie's champagne glass. It'll be a quarter full. And she's like, oh, <laughs> like, you know, she's like, it's going to be one of those. No, like, <laughs> And you're like, what? you're like, we just sat down. Such and a lightweight. Jamie will have two sips of champagne Last or night wine. I had champagne to celebrate for Cutter with Farragut. We had like a big moment and I was pretty tipsy from a half a glass of champagne. Yeah, and a half a glass of champagne, a g- glass of champagne only gets filled halfway. Right, exactly. And it's not even like a big glass. It's crazy, man. Yeah. It's the opposite of how my life was. You, my pre- you prefer to smoke. Now. Yeah. Yeah, but back then I didn't do anything. Gosh. I was just a sober Sally. You just get joy being uh, alive? I guess. Wow. It's It's been a real 
tough road trying to figure that out being sober you know sure it, definitely there but like it took a while in the beginning to be like how do i enjoy yes. anything well because everything was also... always like oh man if i was high for that mm -hmm. ooh, dude i want to get high and then then eat dinner you know yeah, yeah. It was... getting high now for me is kind of like i need the edge off when you when I watch you get high, it's an edge off for me because I know all the all the stresses that you're surrounded with. So when you actually have a moment and maybe like Jack's asleep, Bo's playing Roblox, and then you finally take that hit, I'm like, whew. Oh, it's like good for you're her. You're such an empath. <laughs> uh, totally. Is that? Yeah, I guess I'm growing yeah, to be an empath, huh? Yeah. Especially not all about lately. Cass anymore. Yeah, like, just lately like with the move and Cutter all. will. Cutter's like. Like you, you'll be like Cutter. I think, it, and he's like, "Oh, would you like to smoke a bowl? I could pack a bowl for. I could, you would you, you want to maybe a little weed for?" And yeah. you're like, "Yeah, all right, fine." And then like ten minutes later, like you just see Jamie's like, "Yeah." Huh? I like when like, you're what? on the yeah. couch and then you're on your phone. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like the first time I know you've been on your phone probably in like six hours. Yeah, and then you're just like scrolling through. I'm like, she's. In the she zone. has a break right now. Yes. Sometimes, yes. so we usually go to Jamie's at like. You know, when football was on, it was like right before football. So let's say one o'clock, one o'clock, you get there. And there were times where Jamie would get high and get to the couch at 730, like when, right when the kids go to bed and she get there and she would go, oh, she'd be like, sorry, babe, I didn't know. Like, <laughs> it, but like on the way, I'd be like, hey, do you guys want me to bring like or just ask some question on the way? And she'd be like, oh, sorry, babe, like I didn't know that you text me. And I'm yeah. like, it's all right, Amy Lee. Yeah. You're good. You're off the clock. I know. Yeah, but that's that's what I'm not enjoying, to be honest, about we because it's now it's not becoming about like fun and getting high it's becoming like a real it's it's a becoming a vice mm. it's becoming a thing for me because i just i can't it gets me off the hook quicker than it makes me lets me decompress a lot just you know it's a shortcut it feels like you're punching the clock like that's how you're yep. it's like, like boop, boop. boom i'm out and yeah. I don't think that that's healthy. And I don't, I just, I'm giving myself a lot of grace and I'm giving myself a lot of leniency over these next couple of weeks, even with like how I'm eating. Like it's just moving is fucking stressful. Moving in a pandemic is stressful. Moving to another state with your kids is stressful and new schools and this and that. So I'm just really trying to be forgiving, but I also feel like shit because I'm not taking great care of myself, you know? I'm look. I'm actually looking forward to not smoking that much weed anymore. I think you're just in a very unique situation with yeah. You know, once kids are in school and you get a few more hours, I feel like if you got two hours more a day to yourself, or that, even I mean, one I get, hour, I get eight to eleven thirty. That's the most bows yeah. in school. Yeah, if you had just a little bit more, I think you'd yeah. balance out. But I mean, to be honest, it's a it's amazing how you're not medicating more. <laughs> you know. Really good yeah. job you've done the Thanks. last year. It's been crazy. And I, I could argue that Jamie has zero time in the day to herself because as soon as she does get the time to herself, she has to do things that you actually have to do. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, well, now I go. To, it's not just like, here's my t here's my me time. It's like, OK, wait, did I do this? Do I have to whether it's mm -hmm. things for the show or even like I have to take a shower? Like, I yes. don't want to take a shower. So no, it's like it's it's, it's it's on my to do list. Yeah. Like you're doing more things you actually yeah. don't want to do, you yes. know, where my day and Kasim's day, our days are just filled with whatever we want to do. Mm. Well, you know what, though? You know why I love Thursdays? Because Thursdays I come here and then I watch Summer House at night. Mm. And I, if you're not watching Summer House, you're really missing out. It's the good. It is the only Bravo reality show that my husband will watch with me, which is really nice. That's a big it's endorsement. Really bonding. That Summer House's biggest endorsement I've ever heard on yeah. a show. He does not does watch not, anything no. but sports. Yes. Can yeah. I can I start this season or do I have to go back into the beginning and watch it? I would say go back just because it's nice to know the history between all of them. It's quick. It's easy. Okay. You got me into Big Brother, by the way. This is this, what you used and to I'm say. So, this was not a season to get into. Well, you know I got that. into it. And guess what? I'm going to watch the new one over the summer when it comes out. Good. But uh, do you think this show's better than Big Brother? 
It's just, well, Big Brother has competitions and there's more suspense. This is just a bunch of young, gorgeous 20-somethings sleeping with each other. And... Oh. Cass, you should not watch, uh, you should watch The Challenge, MTV The Challenge, That's before Rob's you go to favorite. Big Brother. It's yeah. so good. It's like Big Brother with way more lying. Way, how much <laughs> is the prize on Big Brother? Uh, half a million. Right. This is a million. Mm. They fight way more. And there's like so much more history because they've known each other for 15 years, 20 years, some of them. And like, you know... The shit that goes on. To me, the challenge, if you go, if you said like, okay, Monday, you could pick one show to have this week's of right mm -hmm. now, that might be my mm. show. Although Married at First Sight is so fucking good, man. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this was a good episode to watch on YouTube. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know when our videos go live, which is every Tuesday. Um, right now when we're on Instagram and Twitter. Jamie's on Instagram yep. and Twitter. And we have a subreddit, r slash pajama pants podcast. Um, and although there have been some posts where some men have been showing parts of their body, I, I, I think uh, it's still a place you can visit. Um, and uh, I appreciate you guys all taking the time to support the show and supporting our sponsors. And, and yeah, we'll keep chugging we along. We love you. See you in the next one.